Greetings folks, in this video we're going to be having a look at the new Bandit range of RF modules, receivers and antennas from Radio Master that work on the 915 and 868 megahertz RF frequencies and the range kind of mirrors the Ranger gear uh, in that there is a, a micro, a nano, uh, a metal cased version and uh, receivers to go with them as well. So we have a nano, a micro, the full bandit which is the metal cased version, we have a T antenna, a Moxon antenna that, that come with the metal cased version and receivers we have a BR1 single antenna and the BR3 dual antenna, antenna diversity receiver. Now, although there is 868 firmware available, it's not LBT uh, compliant or listen before talk, which is a requirement in Europe, I believe. Radio Master are saying that uh, the, the modules are uh, optimised for efficiency at high power and uh, at the low power required by uh, European regulations. Low power telemetry and LBT uh, just wasn't working consistently, so they're not going to pursue C certification for uh, LBT compliance in Europe. So why are we getting 915 gear now? Uh, well, because people asked for it basically. Uh, and originally Express LRS was designed as alternate firmware for uh, FRSky R9 gear, so 915 megahertz gear. Um, and people have that gear still and, and want compatible stuff to go with it, I suppose. So there are pluses and minuses for the 915 gear. Uh, it will give you longer long range uh, at the extreme end and better penetration behind trees and buildings and, and uh, obstructions like that, I guess. So if those are your requirements, uh, then 915 might be the better choice. The antennas are a lot bigger than the 2.4 gigahertz. We'll see that in a minute when we have a look at the gear. Uh, and uh, the bandwidth isn't quite as wide so you can't have as many pilots flying on the same frequencies before you start to run into overlapping and uh, interference and that sort of stuff. There's a little bit more latency, uh, lower frequency packet rate as well. Not that these things are very important if you're going for long range. <laughs> what you really want is good connection and 915 is going to give you the best possible connection I suppose. Okay so let's have a closer look at all the gear, open up the boxes and uh, see all the new features that have been added. Let's start with the modules. Uh, there's the Bandit Nano, little nano sized module. There's the antenna you can see. If we compare it to the 2.4, the antenna is a lot bigger. It's not too bad actually. You can also see on all of these modules we now have a little LCD screen and a five-way selector joystick, USB-C, uh, XT30 for external power when you're using higher powers uh, and internal fan and venting and same with the micro version five-way selector which is over on the side beside the screen USB-C and XT30 antenna as well there's the two units there uh, and that would go on the That would fit on radios like the uh, TX16S and the Boxer there. So the Nano features, uh, Nano and Micro would be the same. Up to 1 watt power, packet rates up to 200 hertz, high contrast OLED screen, RF output power up to 1000 milliwatts or 1 watt for FCC, 25 milliwatts for CE, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth support, built-in accelerometer, and now for the full bandit, a little bit of a instruction manual there. Uh, here's the lovely serious metal casing for excellent uh, durability and cooling. We have a little bit of a, a plastic surround too, just to protect the corners, I guess. Uh, OLED screen, a couple of user configurable buttons there and the five-way connector, internal fan. And uh, the Bandit, full Bandit, comes with micro and nano adapters, as well as the Futaba Crossfire cable, connection cable. And we also get the T antenna. 
and the directional Moxon antenna. Um, so that one is more directional. Uh, it definitely has to be pointed at the aircraft for extreme long range. So the Bandit features, same 1 watt maximum output, packet rates up to 200 hertz. RGB light effects, we'll have a look at them when we turn them on. High efficiency cooling system, built in accelerometer. And uh, Fataba Crossfire cable and UART cable. And we'll have a look at the receivers. This is the BR3 antenna diversity. Dual antennas, not actually receiver diversity. Uh, we get some cables to connect it. A few pieces of heat shrink as well. And a little user manual. And the BR1, which is the single antenna which again comes with heat shrink. There's the attached antenna, a spare T antenna. This is sort of the uh, inline antenna, I guess you'd call it. Still actually a T antenna, but just uh, oriented like that to make it easier to mount on your craft and a little user manual there as well. And the BR3 also has uh, 500 milliwatts of telemetry power. Now with further information that Radio Master have provided, the Bandit Micro RF module has UART solder pads on the PCB and can be repurposed as a receiver. So that's that means that uh, you can use the Bandit Micro as a 1000 milliwatt telemetry receiver for ultra long range flights. And same with the Nano. I've fitted the micro size adapter onto the, the full metal case bandit and we're just popping that back into the back of the boxer like that. You can see there are no lights on at the moment. If I now turn the external module on and select crossfire, there we go. See it comes up as 250 hertz and it's changed to 200 hertz because 200 is the maximum and we've got some lights coming on there. And we've got the uh, LED screen as well. Soldered up the receiver and connected it to UART1 on my speed to be flight control board. That's the BR1 with the single antenna. Now, I wonder, will it be bound straight away? Let's see. We'll turn it on. See what we get there. We've got flashing light. Nothing on the screen yet, so it's not bound. Maybe that's in bind mode. Let's try anyway. Go to the Express LRS Lua script. It's identified that we've got the Bandit 915 module in there. We don't have a little C up there, so it's obviously not bound. So if we can go uh, and try and bind now. And it's bound straight away. So there we go. That, uh, that worked. There's no passphrase set on this yet. That was sort of ready to go out of the box. And we can set our parameters here. Uh, set switch mode. Uh, Telemetry mode, these are all my standard settings actually. Transmitter power, we can go up to a thousand, but I don't need a thousand. Let's stick at 100 milliwatts. Dynamic, I do like dynamic on, that's dynamic power, uh, which reduces the power uh, if we don't need that full 100 milliwatts or 1000 milliwatts or whatever you're using. So we're actually bound and ready to go. So I can connect up the flight control board and uh, we will watch it in INAV configurator to see how we go. All right, so let's connect. Go to receiver. We're already selected as crossfire and there we go. We have connection. So easy as that. And uh, to make that happen, well, I already had it uh, pre-selected but you would go to ports and make sure UART1 is the one that's selected for serial receiver because UART1 is where I um, connected the receiver into 
and in the receiver page select crossfire as the serial receiver provider and all is good that is actually ready to fly so that's cool easy as that just a direct swap for the 2.4 gear now if i wanted to change it to passphrase connection i would go to wi-fi connectivity here let's do enable receiver wi-fi that gives us a fast flashing red light on the receiver so and the express lrs receiver uh, wi-fi link has shown up there put in my passphrase one two three four five six and save reboot let's watch the receiver and now we need to get the uh, module into Wi-Fi mode, Wi-Fi connectivity, enable Wi-Fi. Express LRS transmitter Wi-Fi pages popped up. We'll join that. Setup screen should show. Here we are, uh, Express LRS TX. Type in the passphrase. Reboot. Power up the receiver, and we should get, there we go, we've got passphrase connection now, passphrase binding, so that's uh, very easy, still works exactly the same as the 2.4, nice and easy. In the transmitter web-based setup page, uh, you can also configure the buttons, you can have two different actions for each button, uh, and, can, and you can uh, configure different press sequences and, and length of presses to uh, have the two different functions. Choices for the functions are increased power, uh, video transmitter operation through the backpack, uh, starting Wi-Fi and into binding mode. And you have two buttons, so uh, you can change the color of the buttons as well. So uh, let's maybe, let's have a yellow button and a blue button. Button saved. So there's the new 915 and 868 Express LRS gear from Radio Master, the Bandit series. Uh, excellent addition to the range, uh, gives us even more choice than we had before. Amazing stuff. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.